Hello, and welcome to this edition of SoCal CEO. My name is Katie Darling. The Inland Empire Labor Management Cooperation Committee, the National Electrical Contractors Association, and the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers sponsored a series of informative classes devoted to electrical safety for first responders as it relates to emergency situations. These three-hour courses cover materials such as how to handle an arc flash, how to prevent electrical shock, and things to know for when approaching a dangerous situation involving electrical power. Jim, can you share with us why it is that it's important for your firefighters to receive training in electrical hazards? We're faced with many unique challenges in the fire service in regards to maintaining our safety and the safety of the public. With power lines being and power going to every structure and residence inside our city and pretty much across the United States. Those issues um, are prevalent at all times. So m knowing what the hazards of uh, electricity are for our personnel is uh, our quintessential uh, priority in how we can respond to it, ultimately uh, serving the public uh, much more safely in that manner. And how effective was this training in addressing the potential hazards that firefighters face? The training was outstanding. Uh, we started initially on a, a PowerPoint presentation and the interaction um, with the instructors was valuable, but when we finally got through the training and learning some of the hazards that we were, you know, potentially to be faced with, and we got to one-on-one -on -one discussions with the, the instructors and started presenting um, basically war stories with them about what we've come across and how should we deal with these issues in the future. That to me was the, the absolutely most important um, component of the training. Being able to hear from the experts on a one-on-one -on -one basis on, on real life situations that our personnel have been faced with really um, met our need. David, can you share with us why it is that NECA decided to step up with the IBEW to provide these trainings? Uh, it's very important for our first responders to understand what's going on with electrical fires, electricity, uh, electrical shocks, uh, and it's a perfect combination because NECA, the IBW, and the National Fire Protection Association writes the National Electrical Code. So we're really entangled and we're kind of a family together. Great. And how important do you feel that these trainings are? I think they're very important. Uh, firemen aren't taught electricity. They don't know if, what to do when they get out to a job as, or a fire or a call uh, as a first responder. And if there's live electrical wires out there, what do they do? Not many. So we thought it was very important to teach them how to deal with that situation when they arrive on the scene so they don't hurt themselves too. Great. And what is your vision for the expansion of this program to other first response and firefighting agencies? Uh, we'd like to see it go throughout the county, San Bernardino, and Riverside County. And we've also thought about taking it to the policemen's, police officers too, because they're the first responders sometimes also. So Jeff, tell us a little bit about how involved was it for your department in getting set up for the programs? Well, we were approached by NECA and IBEW to develop a course for firefighters. And I can tell you, they took the ball and ran with it, provided some great training. We've refined the training even more after, after the initial course. And I can tell you, it's, it's invaluable. It's been a great experience for our personnel. So how important was it for you that NECA and IBEW be the ones performing this training? It, it was uh, the most important factor to have the individuals that work with electricity each and every day and recognize those hazards. To be able to pass on their experience to our personnel was invaluable. And what was your overall impression of the training and its value? Uh, it was, it's great training. It, it has a, a practical application from a, a, from a perspective outside the fire service, which I think is vitally important that we get the, the perspective of the contractors and the workers that, that handle these products or this material. We're here with Rick Perpert, Training Director for the NECA IBEW Apprenticeship and Journeyman Training Program. So Rick, why is it that you feel that these trainings are important? Well, I think there's a, there's a lot of um, hazards out there that the firemen encounter when they roll onto a job site, first responders, so we want to, that's our area of expertise, and we want to make sure that our firefighters are safe. So can you share with us some of the takeaways, some of the important aspects that you built into the curriculum? Well, part of it is uh, the new photovoltaic, the green trend that we have in our nation right now. Firefighters encounter those on the roofs, and a lot of people assume that because it's photovoltaic, it's, it's low voltage and it's not harmful, but actually there's, there's high voltage there, and there's a, there's a great potential for physical injury and harm, and that's part of what we incorporate in our program. You know, safety is what we're all about. 
Great. And when you approached the fire department, did they recognize the need for this type of training and how receptive were they? They were very receptive. Uh, when we initially contacted them, they, we set up the, the initial class within two weeks. I had my instructors develop the class and they were very extremely um, positive about it. And I think they've also helped spread the word with the other fire departments and ultimately the police departments too. So we were, we were very pleased with the response. So speaking of the other agencies, tell us what would you like to see happen with this program long term? I'd like to see it spread throughout San Bernardino and Riverside County and then ultimately throughout the state and perhaps it could be a, a model program for the nation. Electricity can cause burns, shock, explosions, and fire. Oftentimes a first responder, such as a firefighter or police officer, arrives at a scene and is unaware of circumstances and potential hazards. It's important for them to know what to do when working around photovoltaic cells, what to do about electrical panels in the event of a fire, and when it is safe to render aid to someone in close proximity to energized conductors. Bill, can you tell us from the association standpoint, why is it important for firefighters to receive this sort of training? Well, you know, we, uh, we deal with these types of emergencies on a, on a regular basis. So to have somebody come in that has an expertise in this field was tremendous for us. Um, we have to do this annual training every year. And uh, to have these folks come in and offer this training to us that, uh, that have such a, a great expertise um, it was tremendous for us to, to be able to, to take it to the next level, if you will. And uh, I know myself, I was a part of the training, I was a part of the classes, as well as all the other firefighters. Um, we, we thought it was great, and it was, it was a great, great experience. And as somebody who actually went through the training personally, tell me a little bit about what it was that you thought and, and what you took away from it. Well, you know, like I said, we, uh, we just, we took it to the, or the class took it to the next level. Um, we have a, a level of training, but um, this isn't something that we, we do as our specific job every single day, although we have to deal with these in emergencies. So um, being able to, to have somebody that, that deals with this and has many years of experience, I think the folks that came out and trained us in this have uh, in excess of 15 to 20 years of experience. So um, to, for them to share uh, the, the things that they've had to deal with and the training that they've had and the training that they put their folks through um, is just going to allow us to be that much more safe on scene and also uh, to be able to work together even better um, as we deal with these types of incidents. So Sherry, why is this program important from your perspective? Well, from our perspective at the Institute, um, it's our job to do a lot of public outreach, fire and burn prevention, education. We thought it was imperative to get it out to all first responders, not just the fire departments, but the police, sheriffs, CHPs. And essentially, those are all the different entities that the Institute works with. So we're happy to partner up in an effort to keep our firefighters safe and a little bit um, well trained when it comes to the electrical dangers and especially with more solar panel panels coming out um, we need to reach out to them as well. Working together to energize the Inland Empire, NECA and IBEW are offering these classes free of charge. Electricity is a scary beast because you can't see it, you can't smell it, and you don't even have to touch it. Sometimes just being too close is enough to be injured. Our first responders only get one chance to approach a dangerous situation. Helping educate them empowers them to make smart choices. If you'd like more information about the firefighter electrical safety training, please contact Jan Hudson at Inland Empire Labor Management Cooperation Committee. Her contact number is 909-307-3400. My name is Katie Darling, and thank you for watching this edition of SoCal CEO.